Sonny Crockett, an undercover policeman for the Miami Vice Department, lives on a yacht in the marina with an alligator named Elvis. He is estranged from his wife, Caroline, and their six-year-old son, Billy, due to the pressures of working Vice and his drinking. Moored alongside his yacht, which is ostensibly out for hire to tourists, is a state-of-the-art cigarette boat that outruns the Coast Guard. He drives $100,000 confiscated Ferrari, 11 scraping by on four hours of sleep a day, living undercover for weeks at a time. Dealer this month, outlaw biker the next. If it is Tuesday, I must be working drugs. The last time I requested a backup, I nearly got shot to death by Bluto and Lee Harvey Oswald over there. And as for progress reports, I just assumed by radio time. Crockett started out with all the ideals and the world in front of him. Fresh out of college, he had a promising career in professional football until he damaged his knee in Vietnam. However, he finds he loves undercover police work. The action on the street has replaced the action on the field. He is a hard partying player and a survivor, and has kept his sense of humor throughout the many character changes, the ugliness of the street, and the devastating effect it had on his personal life. Forget who I am? <laughs> Darlin? Sometimes I remember who I am. Ricardo Tubbs is a New York street cop in Miami on an unscheduled mission to revenge the murder of his brother, also a policeman. First class on assignment. Bastard killed my brother. He poses as a Jamaican looking to make a cocaine purchase with fake front money. 120,000. You got the party favors? Tubbs is a single-minded, hardworking, honest individual with strong family ties. He is a finely tuned machine, slick and handsome, yet dangerous, lethal, and wild. He strives for perfection in his work. There is no looking back, only forward as he burned all his bridges in New York on his mission of vengeance in South Florida. It's called Justice Crockett. Crockett and Tubbs meet. New York. Tubbs takes on the identity of his brother for the benefit of the Miami police, and they unwillingly team up on assignment to apprehend a cocaine smuggler. Because of an inside leak, the duel is frustrated at every turn. However, the leak is discovered, sadly an ex-partner and dear friend of Crockett, and the smuggler is finally caught. I trusted you, God, I trusted you, you bastard! I trusted you! The shared experiences bind these two dissimilar characters together to make a first-rate undercover team, which takes them through the labyrinths of South Florida corruption. Drugs, prostitution, gambling, money laundering, pornography, weapon sales, political terrorism, extortion, and graft. They share the police precinct with a menagerie of individuals. Zito and Swidek are somewhat eccentric undercover vice detectives who have their own unique method of getting the job done. While working on their own assignments, Trudy Joplin and Gina Calbreeze, two female undercover policewomen, help Crockett and Tubbs with research and background information on their current case. They must answer to the precinct lieutenant, a fair and honest man who becomes frustrated at Crockett and Tubbs' unorthodox habits, yet who has confidence in their ability to get the job done. Filmed on location in Florida, Miami Vice aims for stark realism, yet retains a youthful approach. An ensemble piece, it is a police show with a different rhythm. Unique and artistic filmically, the show is edited to the pace of a music video.